Um, yeah. This next story, <laughs> I have so many questions. It's like uh, Trixie from um, Toy Story 3. I have some questions. Actually, I have all the questions for this. Uh, supposedly, Antoine Fuqua, who did The Equalizer, the most recent Magnificent Seven, uh, a really great prestigious director, his next project will be doing a Michael Jackson biopic. I'm just going, oh, I have so many questions right now. Mm -hmm. Like, so many. Like, say what you want about the man himself, but, uh, he was quite controversial with, um, yep. there were some things that whether you believe he did them or whether you didn't or think he didn't, you're going to piss off half the people that might see this movie either way. Um, putting that aside, who are you going to cast for this? Because, um, yeah, Michael had quite drastic appearance changes over time. So like, if I'm an actor, cool. But this is a project that I'm gonna stay way away from just because of... it's a hefty project to say the least. It's uh -huh. Yeah. I, I and to say that they are gonna be shooting soon is is crazy too, because that means that the script is done, all everything else is done, whatever. But like like you said, like there's a lot of Mm, uh, details <laughs> about Michael's life that is is are very <sighs> how do you say this in a kind way there's not going to be a lot of ways that you can skirt this under the rug um you're going to have to deal with a lot of the really big very public um issues that that you know kind of he had to deal with whether you believe that they happened or not uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how sanitized this is going to end up being. And here, here's um, the problem. Yeah. It's going to be sanitized because this is going yes. to be written by the same guy that wrote Bohemian Rhapsody. And I'm going, yes. Oh no. Because while Bohemian Rhapsody is fine, I have always maintained that a true Freddie Mercury slash queen biopic needed to be a hard R rated Wolf of Wall Street slash Babylon style movie, because that's actually what Freddie Mercury was like he was the quintessential rock star like and then you really really sugarcoated it and i i'm worried and i'm pretty confident saying they will do the exact same thing again for this oh yeah oh yeah which is i i don't think that's fair i i think that's that i I think as a, if I was a Michael Jackson fan, which I, I've never really been that big of a fan of his music, but that's, that's personal taste. Um, I, I would question, I, w I feel like even fans would question a very sanitized version of this because it's like, well, yeah, but like, we're aware of everything that happened. So like, you're just going to skip over that. Uh, okay. So I, I, I don't know what to expect. I, I think the fact that it is going to be so sanitized is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Uh, but I guess we'll find, we'll wait and see. I, um, I don't know. Like it, it's, this doesn't, doesn't surprise me that this is happening. It doesn't because besides Elvis, Michael Jackson is probably the most recognizable name in all of music history. Uh, for the most part, like I, I taught at boys and girls club for a little bit and, 90% of those kids didn't know who it was and it made me feel very sad and very old. Yeah. Um, but by and large, Michael Jackson is one of the biggest names in music history. So it's surprising that we haven't gotten a biopic sooner. But at the same time, with everything that happened in their lives, I understand why. Um, yeah. If I, if I had to make a biopic about Michael Jackson, first of all, I don't know if I'd be up to the task, but I would hone it in more on the early days than the tail end things of don't make it a Michael Jackson movie, make it a Jackson five movie back when they were kids. And they had to deal with a very abusive father figure who more or less like forced them to churn out the music yeah. and whatnot. Like, I think that's more a story to go with and might be easier to cast because again, who are you going to cast with this movie? Because Michael Jackson notoriously does 
his start point and his end point look very, very different. Um, mm-hmm. Again, there's the, the whole allegations and everything else. I would be curious about this, but again, biopics do not have the best of reputations. Like, Bohemian Rhapsody played it incredibly safe, but then on the flip side, you go overly raunchy with a movie like Blonde with Ana de Armas, which, yes, she got nominated for it, but the rest of the movie got a whole bunch of Razzie nominations for being overly excessive and kind of exploitative to who Marilyn was and just kind of portraying her as something a bit too grandiose and just doing it for the sheer shock value. I don't Mm -hmm. think Antoine Foucault would do something like that. I, like I've said, I really like him as a director. I like equalizer. Um, I believe he also did training day. Um, like magnificent seven. I like his movies. I think he's a really talented director. This is just a really uncomfortable and difficult task for anybody to pull off. And it just feels like an unnecessarily difficult project if that makes sense yeah i have a feeling this is gonna be closer to uh the dirt than um bohemian rhapsody um for those that don't know but the dirt was that uh the um motley crew biopic um and they while they did go they did kind of show all of the exploits all of the the bad and good stuff with Motley Crue, they also like the really, really bad stuff. They tended to just skirt over it. And I'm really nervous that that's, that's what exactly what they're going to end up having to do. So we'll see what happens. 